I am Garima here with my new video. Today I thought to make a video on subtraction but as I requested by a parent I am going to solve exercise 4F. So let's continue with question number 1. Here the question number 1 is saying that in an examination 56,321 students passed. If the number of failures be 16,758, then find the total number of students who appeared in the examination. So let us solve the question number 1. Here the first statement of the question number 1 will be the number of students passed the examination is equal to 56,321. Second statement will be the number of students failed that examination that is equal to 16,758. Therefore, we have to now find out the number of total students who appeared in the examination. For that, we will add this 56,221 plus 16,758. Again, students you have to do the calculation portion and after add, after the calculation the same number you will write here in this blank space and then you will write the answer and answer will be the students appeared in the examination now let's move on to question number two Mr. Pandey earned Rs. 68,290 last month. This month he earned Rs. 89,750. What is his total earning in these two months? Now let us solve question number 2. Here the first statement will be Mr. Pandey's earning during last month is equal to Rs. 68,290. Second statement will be the Mr. Pandey's earning during this month is equal to Rs. 89,750. Therefore, his total earning in these two months is equal to Rs. 68,290 plus Rs. 89,750. So now we will add both of them. Student, you have to fill this blank place. After adding both terms and the, here you have to finally you have to write the answer as his total earning during this two month is this whatever answer will come here you have to fill in this blank space. Let us solve the question number three. Here question is saying Manam's income during the year 2015 was rupees 3,15,780. Next year his income exceeded the previous year's income by Rs. 79,200. What was his income in the year 2016? And how much did he earn in these two years put together? The statement is Manu's income during the year 2015 is equal to Rs. 315,780. Now the second statement is the Manav's income during the year 2016 is equal to rupees 3,15,780 plus rupees 79,200. So we will add here these both two terms then we will get this answer. So after that the next statement will be we have to find that his total earning during these two years. So that will be equal to rupees 3 lakh 15,780 plus rupees 3 lakh 94,980. We will add these two terms. Then after adding this answer, children will do the calculation and children will write the answer here. And 
while writing the answer at first we have to write the same number what we have we have got after adding same you will write after that you have to write is his earning in these two years let us solve question number 4 Here question is saying in an election 28,929 votes were found valid, 4,031 votes were found invalid, and 1,850 persons did not come to vote. So how many voters were registered in all? Let us solve question number four. Here the first statement is number of valid votes is equal to Twenty-eight thousand nine hundred twenty-nine. The second statement is number of invalid votes is equal to four thousand thirty-one. A third statement: number of persons did not come to vote is equal to one thousand eight hundred fifty. So now we have to find the total number of voters registered. For that, we will add all three terms. Twenty-eight thousand nine hundred twenty-nine plus four thousand thirty-one plus one thousand eight hundred fifty. So here you will write, and you have to do the addition portion. After that, whatever answer will come, the same number you have to write in this blank space, and then you will write voters we are registered in all. Students, exercise four e is very simple, hence. you have to do it by yourself and if any doubt you have you can clarify with me my next video will be on subtraction hope you all are safe at home please like and subscribe my channel to encourage me bye bye